Alright guys, welcome back to Race of the Dead. It's been a while since I last played this game, and from what I know, there has been an update. I am kinda late, like, uh, a lot too late. But uh, anyway, uh, the game has been updated, but I'm not sure whenever I can say it has been updated for the best. Because in my opinion, it has kinda been updated for the worst. So, what's new? So, first of all, there is a new mission. Rats Recruitment, which uh, it's actually pretty cool because uh, it has different endings whenever you did uh, help uh, the rats or you help the bandits. And uh, probably as I'm speaking, I saw in you the gameplay uh, I took uh, on myself without recording my voice. Uh, and it's... Uh, Kinda cool. And the new mission, it's uh, pretty cool, although I'm kinda uh, stuck at the part where it uh, requires you to take two Necron's Particulate case, because you have to do a raid, which is, uh, in my opinion, one of the hardest raids of the game. But except that, they also added a new location, the Abandoned Bunker, and that's pretty much about it for the good news. So, for the bad news, uh, well, of course, the game is full of bugs, as always, but uh, I think we all kinda got used to it by now. Another thing that uh, really uh, surprised me is that uh, the, the abandoned bunker raid is uh, insanely hard, and to be honest, it's probably because I'm playing alone, so that's uh, probably a big cause of why I find this so hard and another thing that it's actually crazy which I can't really believe uh, it's happening it's that the developer did something with uh, the ammunition like the total ammo you can carry so I'm probably going to show you it now so you can see over here it says that my bow has 61 ammo, 61 max ammo to be exact. This was because I stopped playing some months ago. But when we go to the workbench and click the bow, you can see that my max ammo is actually 23. So yeah, it, I have 61 because I played before the update, but if I, for whatever reason, uh, have to restock... Uh, the, uh, the bow, it will cost me uh, some money and I will have basically less ammo of what I had before like I did the quick math, uh, I did 61 minus 23 and uh, the result is 38 that's more than half the, the ammunition, so that's crazy another thing I did, uh, it's uh, my shotgun I remember this shotgun having about uh, 100 uh, spare ammo, so it was uh, pretty okay. So I was not sure if it was a bug or anything, so you know what I did? I upgraded the ammo of the shotgun, and you know what it went from for 23 perks? Uh, I went from 52 to 54 ammo. Like, that's absolutely a scam. 23 perks are... Uh, are basically a lot, and all I got was two more ammo. I went from 52 from 54. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm really mad about. And there is uh, one last problem to talk about, but this is not about the game. It's uh, I think it's Roblox fault. If you try to type anything in the chat, uh... oh, it works. Okay, maybe Roblox fixed it, I don't know. Uh, when I tried to use the chat before, it said that uh, it was blocked by Roblox. Like, I don't know, it, it was kind of strange. Uh, alright, alright, this is... Uh, this is already better, I'm happy. At least uh, uh, that I can again chat, because uh, one problem I was, I was having is that uh, I didn't play the games for a lot of time. It was like... Uh, six five months so i didn't know what was a necron particular case and i couldn't ask for help because the chat was disabled so 
I was basically left on my own. But now that Sat it's back, uh, hopefully it's not gonna get uh, blocked again by whatever Roblox is doing. But yeah, overall this is uh, my reaction to the new event. Like, uh, from what I know, the developer of Rise of the Dead is also working on another game. So probably that's the problem with uh, all of these bugs. Uh, but yeah, if you want a hint from me, focus on one thing at a time, because uh, it's not the first time that I see a game be being basically broken because the developer is working on multiple games at the same time. If you have a game, uh, work on it until it's finished, uh, and then start something else, because... Uh, when you have two unfinished games, there really are a small sense that both games will become good. So most of the times what you end up with is two mediocre games that are cool, but there are a bugs here, a bugs there, and in the end uh, it doesn't really end uh, pretty well. So yeah, this was everything for this episode, I'm glad I could come back to Rise of the Dead. The new update, uh, it's cool, but I wish it was uh, organized a little better. This was everything for this video, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.